This video describes how actual work hours are handled when integrating between Standard Time and Microsoft Project. You can see that I'm looking at the Standard Time timesheet. I have a very simple test case here with uh, one task and some actual hours in it. And I've integrated with Microsoft Project to uh, send those hours over to Project. And what we wanted to show here is how those hours are handled in Microsoft Project. You can also see in standard time that I've got my little task. I'm actually filtering the project tasks view by that one project. So you see the one task. And so we're going to look at how these actual hours are sent over to Microsoft Project. Now, if you haven't seen the video on integrating with Microsoft Project, you should probably find that on the website. But I'll go through very briefly how to do that. You would first of all go to the Tools menu, choose Projects, then you would right click on the project that you want to integrate with and choose Microsoft Project Integration Wizard. And this wizard will walk you through the steps. So we're going to assume that you've already watched that video, you've already integrated with Microsoft Project, and you sent some hours over to Project. So what we're looking at here is how those actual hours are handled in Project. So the first thing we're going to do is to switch over to Microsoft Project and look at the MPP file that I have already integrated with. So I've opened up Microsoft Project and we're looking at the Gantt view. You can see by the icon here. And we're looking at this simple project that has one task. In this case there are 20 hours of work. We have 7.5 hours of actual work that have come over from standard time. And the point of this video is to, again, look at how those hours are handled. Uh, Microsoft Project calls this time-phased hours. And uh, so we're specifically looking at how this 7.5 hours is handled as it is sent over from standard time. So the first place to start would be to click on the task usage icon here. And that switches us to a completely different mode in Microsoft Project. We see the task assigned to two different users, and we see some work that is assigned to those people. Now, I've actually right-clicked in here and chosen actual work to show the actual work row for each of these. This will show the actual hours that were sent over from standard time. So you see some hours for Ray, you see some actual hours for Buzz. So when you look at the Gantt view, you see the seven-point hours as an aggregate, when you look at the task usage view, you see where those actual hours came from, and you see the actual days in which they occurred. So let's go over to standard time and do one little thing. So what I'm going to do is put some hours into one of these columns so that you can see that there's some new hours that have been added to the project. So let's switch back over to standard time, and let's add one hour to Friday type in one hour. I'm going to go to the view menu, choose refresh project tasks, choose refresh now, and so those hours have been sent over to Microsoft Project. I can close out of this, switch back over to project. You can see on Friday here we now have the one hour that came over from standard time and it is in the actual work row for Ray. Again, we switch back over to the Gantt view. You now see 8.5 hours as, instead of 7.5. And in the task usage view, you see the one hour that came over. So this is how the actual work from the standard time timesheet is processed and managed by Microsoft Project. So as you type your hours into the daily timesheet in standard time, you integrate that with Microsoft Project those hours will go into the time phased task usage view on Microsoft Project. Hopefully that helps let you know where these hours are processed.